Rock City Networks, tonedef.com.au, coming to you from Cherry Rock 2011. Ooh. I have a few people you might know from Electric Mary joining me at the moment. How are you, gentlemen? We're excellent. Just come off the uh, stage about 15 minutes ago and are uh, very happy. We haven't played for a while, actually. It's been a good, good little uh, hiatus from Electric Mary while we got face problems. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually... Uh, You've got a face problem? When was, the, when was the last time I spoke to you guys? It was, uh, you corner. headlined a show at the corner. Yeah. You had 2200 on and yep. someone else, I can't remember who else was on there, but it's it's been a couple of months. What's what's happened in the last, well, a lot's happened in the last couple of months. Can you, yeah, you want to fill we, us in? Um, um, we've been, we were recording and we stopped a little bit. I got a little bit of a, a, an illness. I kissed Alex one day and uh, something went on. Now, I, I had a little bit of a, a thing with my uh, face, and now I couldn't record. But we just uh, finished last week, new vocals. So the seven tracks are done, that we that we've done. Uh, we're going to release the EP with a live DVD. And we're heading to, uh, where we go? Spain. Spain, France. Germany, France, Belgium, Switzerland. Switzerland. I haven't, I actually, uh, I haven't had my invite yet. No, we've got your ticket. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I'm coming to film. Oh, dude, you're coming there. Oh, we had to bump you up to first class, which was how, do, how does that work? Yeah, I, no, I don't know. I don't know. It's either that or sit with Venom. Um, <laughs> well, I'm quite happy to sit with Venom. He gives me enough shit about drinking anyway. I may as well stick with him. Um, so I, I got a, I got an email from you a couple of weeks ago, Rusty, and it was uh, it was for your ears only subject. Um, the new material that you guys are in the studio with. It's sounding fucking great. But at the same time, don't take this the wrong way. Quite different to what you've been putting out. Uh, what, what do you? What's the transition you're going through? When we first started, um, not sounding egotistical, but I used to write. I, you know, I started the band and blah blah blah. And we've had different members of Jim, but I used to write, and then the band would fix. Alex wrote this time, and I wrote with Alex. Um, Pete and I wrote some things, so it's a bit different. And I was hoping that uh, we'd be a little bit heavier this time. Um, I think it is too. And I think it's, it's yeah. a bit heavier. Sounds great to me. I mean, when I get demos from Rusty of some of the new songs, it's great. You put them on well, and yeah, like, fuck, I'm, man. I mean, when I say different, I don't mean in a bad way. Just It's just different. It is yeah. a departure, it's just definitely. Different. Yeah. Yeah. You know? Well, three, three out of five of the songs, I think, came from Alex's riff. So because he plays different than I would play makes me think a different way when I'm vocally and you know um, you know we, we when we went to America those few times and, and France as well but uh, America really we had lots of time to think there and and lyrically I was kind of getting wrapped up in the mountains and stuff of America I mean we were locked away in uh, as good as a cabin can be. It was a beautiful place with Mary. Um, but there was cabin fever. Uh, there was Absolutely. cabin fever, yeah. yeah. We were there for a while, just hold up, writing songs, playing, recording. We're lucky we yeah. had Mary and Jeff to look after us, man. We probably would have killed each other. Yeah. Yeah. The last trip in, um, the last European trip was good though. We yeah. uh, did the festivals with Alice Cooper and Kiss and blah, blah, blah. And did a lot of driving, but it was, I don't know. Nathan Cavalieri came with us last time. Um, it was a happy he, tour, though. Yeah, he it was, was fun. We all had a laugh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Venom made us cry once, I think, <laughs> on Bastille Day, wasn't it? And, and, uh, was it? I'm serious. Probably, probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You never. You probably never want to travel in a van with Venom when he decides that he'll put his iPhone on loudspeaker <laughs> while we drive. And what is it like? Cradle of Filth or something the whole way. No, no, it was, uh, it was, uh, wasn't Yes, it was, um, the other, like, I can't remember now what they were called. It was horrifying, though. <laughs> Mapman Turner Overdrive? No, maybe. Hey, yeah, hey, but... there's nothing wrong with that. It's <laughs> no, fine, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. Um, so, so, oh, let's, so over the, uh, you got the recording coming up. Is that planned to be released before you get to the, uh, yes. to Europe? Yeah. Um, we just, I'm going to go up to, uh, the studio this week. We're going to um, get rid of all the bits that we don't need from the songs. People have never seen a camera before, have they? Oh no, that's cool. It's a band room. That's you know, 
That's part and parcel of it. This is this is this is not a set up interview. This is people just fucking doing what they want. If you could only smell what we smell right now, you would be amazed. Anyway, Garbage and cocaine. It's great. <laughs> so we're going to um, get rid of all the bits we don't need, and we're going to start. Basically, uh, the songs are going to be put together. We'll all get a piece of this, the songs, the seven songs, and we'll, we'll sit down, you know, individually at home or whatever space it is we need. And we're going to have to come back to each other and say, well, this one worked, this is not working, and da da da. We'll release five with the live DVD, and then we'll release another five when we go back in September to Europe. So they want. Europe want the 10 songs at once, but they can't have them. Just look, it's just a time thing. Like I said, I got this palsy thing and it stopped for a little while. Um, but we will have 10 songs released by the end of the year, but they may not be together. They might be two lots of five. But we're going to do them pretty quickly. Oh, people are just going to fucking wait by the sound of it. it sounds great what we've got though, man. Yeah. Like, I'm, I, I, I get stressed when we take a while, but then when you hear the end result, and it really jumps out. You go, it's worth the wait. Rusty's always like, no, no, go back. Let's get the right the track, the right feel. And and I'm always like, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. But when you hear the end, the result, it's like, yeah, it's worth the wait. You know, you be very proud of something. It's a, it's a great feeling. Mm. We have, we, we've been short one player. Um, Glenn played on five of the songs, or he might have even played on all. But he's just gone back to Darwin at the moment. Because he couldn't come to uh, Europe with us anyway. Um, they're looking him for murder or something he did over there. I can't remember what he, <laughs> he did. Something. Um, it was the last manager that fucked him over. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That or a boy prostitute, one of the two. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't know lovely. Uh, now, yeah. So he's gone back to Darwin now. So we'll uh, reconvene with the four of us again. We've got some uh, new songs. Some more new songs that we've been listening to. We're trying to work out which three we're going to go back in the studio. We like to do three drum tracks at a time in the one evening. Bang, bang, bang. Get them right and start again. And so, yeah, recording, here we come again. And uh, one more thing before I let you go, gentlemen. Uh, have you have you guys have attended a Cherry Rock before? This is the fifth annual Cherry Rock. I've, I've never been. Never no, been I've never been. What's, no. what's your vibe on what you've seen so far? Oh, it's brilliant, man. It feels, uh, it feels just like a smaller version of Hellfest to That's me. great, man. To be in a Wayne way in the city, looking up at the buildings, playing with all these people. There's a lot of people when we played, it was great. There's no, you know, there's no band bullshit, everyone's no. friendly. They had a great show, did well, blah, 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 it's awesome. Yeah. Hey, did you, uh, did you, did you, did you catch, catch, your, catch your look at Stonefield before you guys went on? Yes. What do you think, boys? <laughs> hey, 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 Holly's, I believe Holly's 13 at the moment. She's playing bass. The She's bass your player. counterpart. Right, what right. What do you reckon? Man, for a 13, dude, that was amazing. Yeah? Yeah, absolutely. Doing a whole lot of love. And, you, you know, know you, got the, you got the vocals. Uh, Amy's there on the drums. What do you think? Rocky? I didn't see any. Oh, Sorry. no, you didn't see any? What do you, what do you oh, think? Oh, it was great. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Spectacular. So, w w My limousine let's, let's, was late. Yeah, your limousine was That's ah, fine. Speculate on what you think the crowd is going to do when they step on that stage at Glastonbury in about six weeks' time. They're playing at Glastonbury? Yep. Wow. Oh my god, I'm jealous. <laughs> Me too. They're, 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 they're Australian girls? Yeah, yeah, Are yeah, they? yeah. Four Riddles. sisters. Right. Just near Riddles Creek, man. Really? Yeah. Right. That's yeah. amazing. Good on them. Yeah. They'll kill it. They'll yeah. kill it over there. Absolutely. Yeah. They're a good type band. Wow. You know? When are they the... doing Gla When's Glastonbury on? Glastonbury's, uh, I think it starts on the. I'm pretty sure it's the 20th of June. I'm not too sure on the specific date they're yeah, playing. Yeah, they're all around June. Oh, but um, you know, the girls get over early yeah. to play a few shows and stuff like that. But um, you know, just thought I'd just thought I'd see from some pros <laughs> what you thought about the girls. Oh no, that were great, yeah, man. Pete Absolutely. Robinson. And there's Pete in the background there on the phone. He, I think he's dialing a pizza or something else. <laughs> so anyway, you good? I don't talk. Hey, so. He's got a show oh. with Phil Barra. <laughs> all right. Anyway, we'll let you guys go. Uh, oh, Boys, thank you very much for joining me. If you want any more information, you can go to electricmary.com. You can also find them on Facebook forward slash electricmary. Yep, yep, yep. Trying to get everyone to that site right now, yeah? Yeah. Trying to hit 5,000? Five, 5, we'll, we'll, nine to go, actually. I think you've only got nine? 900? Yeah. No, nine. Nine. It's 4,991. Oh, just bump them over 5,000, Electric Mary at Facebook, electricmary.com. Boys, thank you very much for joining me. Thank, thank you, sir. It's Electric thank Mary here from... Uh, 
thank you to uh, Cherry Rock and James. It was a brilliant day, and I hope we get invited back again, you know? Absolutely. Really cool. Absolutely. It's Electric Mary here from Cherry Rock for Rock City Networks and ToneDeaf.com.au. Cheers.